Hello everyone, my name is Arditha. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining to you what frame latency is and how you can set your best optimal frame rate for your games. So, in order to understand frame latency, we will need to understand refresh rates and the relationship between refresh rates and frame rates. So, let's say your monitor is 60 hertz. That means your monitor's screen will update itself 60 times a second. Keep in mind, I'm keeping things very simple here. And every time that your monitor goes to update itself, it will grab the most recent frame coming from your video card. So, as long as your PC is able to render 60 frames a second, then everything will be fine, right? Well, not quite, because although you may be able to generate a constant 60 frames every second, it doesn't necessarily mean that every single one of those 60 frames took the exact same amount of time to render. So what this means is when your monitor goes to grab the most recent frame, sure it's getting the most recent frame, but that frame might be slightly older than what you really need, because it took a little bit longer to generate. And this is where you get frame latency. Now, whilst these are only fractions of a second we're dealing with here, these are vital in competitive environments. For instance, that microsecond of delay could have meant the difference between your Widowmaker shooting where a tracer is or where a tracer was before she blinked. So, in order to combat this, we increase our frame rate beyond what our refresh rate is. This means that we can have our game generating 150 FPS, 300 FPS, 500 FPS, whatever your PC can handle. Meanwhile, your monitor is still refreshing only 60 times a second. This means that every time your monitor goes in to grab that frame, it has a lot more frames coming in and all of them are more up to date by fractions of a second once again, but these are what reduce your input delay. Because of course, your monitor could go and grab that frame that's been sitting there for however long, or it could grab this new one that's just came in. So in order to minimize our frame latency, we just need as many frames as possible. So why don't we just set an unlimited or uncapped frame rate and be on our merry way? That's also not quite as simple because sure, your PC could be an absolute beast that can render games at hundreds of frames every second, but games aren't always constant. Things are happening, explosions could be happening, gunshots, glass could be shattering, reflections, you know, there are so many things that could be happening and one scene could be dramatically different to the next, which means your frame rates may fluctuate. And trust me, that will lead you to a very bad time. Because of course, no pro player wants to spend hundreds of hours practicing their aim and with certain people becoming quite phenomenal with their aiming, just for it to be completely inconsistent depending on what's happening on your screen. And on certain game engines, not only will that increased frame latency throw you off, but having fluctuating frame rates will actually adjust your in-game sensitivity. It won't exactly change it on your behalf, but you will turn faster or slower depending on how many frames your PC is rendering. So how do we determine what is right and what will not ruin your experience? What will give you the best standing shot at becoming the next god player? Well, what we need to do is find the highest constant frame rate that your PC can achieve. No fluctuations, just a constant steady frame rate. So what I would suggest for this is set an uncapped frame rate or just set it to 999 or whatever is possible in that particular game. And then see what frame rate are you generally getting for the most part. We'll use Overwatch as an example here. I believe the maximum frame rate you can set in Overwatch is 300 FPS. Set it to 300 and see what you're generally getting in a match. Let's say every time you look up at your frame rate counter, you're seeing around about 200 FPS, with of course some areas having slightly higher average frame rates and some having slightly lower, but generally you're sitting around the 200 mark. We can now set our maximum frame rate to 200 because it's gonna be very rare that we do go above 200 and if we do, it will throw off our aim as it's different frame latency to what we're used to. From here, we play even more matches and see, does our frame rate drop? If it does, then we need to see what it's generally dropping to. Let's say when an explosion goes off, your frame rate drops from 200 to maybe round about 180. Obviously, the frame rate counter is always changing, so you have to take a roundabout guess, but let's just say 180. This means that we should set our maximum frame rate to 180. This is because if we left it at 200 or whatever yours was, it means that sure we'll have slightly lower frame latency for the most part. It means whenever an explosion or whatever happens to lower our frame rate, 
During that time that the explosion is happening, our aim will be slightly off for the duration of that. So if we lower our maximum frame rate to be whatever it is when it normally drops, it means our frame rate won't be changing at all. It will just be constantly at 180. And you can keep doing this. If your frame rate still drops lower, just keep doing this to find that sweet spot of where it pretty much never changes. And that is what you do to get your optimum frame latency. You effectively want the highest frame rate that you can get without your frame rate ever, ever changing. Sure, it might have a few tiny hiccups of 5 to 10 FPS every now and then, very rarely, but that's down to you to decide if you want to lower your frame rate more or just live with it. This has been an overview of frame latency and how to set your optimum frame rate in video games. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you liked the video, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, then please give me feedback on how I can improve in future. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.